Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. Thank you for stopping by. The vocabulary we will go through in this video is aimed at intermediate learners and above. Ready? Let's get started. Winter vocabulary. Let's start with winter. Winter is the coldest season of the year in the UK and it is typically characterised by low temperatures and shorter, darker days. On wintry days, you might see frost. Frost is the icy layer that forms on surfaces when moisture in the air freezes. It is often seen on car windows in the morning. You might also see ice. Ice is frozen water, which can create slippery conditions on pavements, sidewalks and roads during the winter. Snowfall. Snowfall refers to the amount of snow that falls from the sky and then accumulates, so gathers, on the ground. English people are quite obsessed with snowfall in the winter because it doesn't happen very often, so when it does, people get excited. Cold. Cold describes the low temperatures experienced during the winter. It can sometimes cause discomfort without proper clothing. So always make sure you have a jumper. Snowflake. A snowflake is a unique ice crystal that forms in cold air and contributes to snowfall. Scarf. A scarf is a long piece of fabric worn around the neck to keep you warm in chilly weather. Sometimes people have matching scarves and gloves. Gloves are hand coverings designed to protect from the cold. They are often made of wool or leather. Icicle. An icicle is a hanging, tapering piece of ice, which has been formed by the freezing of dripping water. Sometimes when icicles are very big, they can be quite dangerous. Sleet. Now, we definitely see more sleet than snow in the UK. Sleet is a mixture of rain and snow, and it can create slippery and hazardous conditions on the roads. It can be quite dangerous sometimes. Snowstorm. Scotland often have snowstorms, and this is a weather event that is characterised by heavy snowfall, strong winds and reduced visibility, meaning you can't see very far ahead. Fireplace. A fireplace is a structure in a home used for heating and creating a cosy atmosphere during the winter. People often decorate their fireplaces. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate is a warm beverage made from cocoa and is often enjoyed as a comfort drink in the winter. People sometimes have it with cream and marshmallows. Blanket. A blanket is a thick cover which is typically used to stay warm while sleeping or relaxing on a cold day. You might snuggle up on the sofa, watch a film and have your blanket laid over you. Wellington boots are more often than not called wellies. You will often hear British people say wellies. And these are waterproof boots worn to protect your feet from wet and muddy weather. A lot of people wear them when it is snowing and you will see farmers wearing wellies for most of the year. Snow plough. A snow plough is a vehicle equipped with a blade that is used to clear snow from the roads and streets. 
thermometer. Practice that one again. Thermometer. A thermometer is a device that is used to measure temperature and it tells you how cold or warm it is outside during the winter or at any time of year. Knitwear. Knitwear refers to warm clothing items made of knitted fabric, such as sweaters, hoodies, jumpers and cardigans. We do, well, we are starting to use the word sweater more in the UK. Frostbite. Frostbite is a medical condition that occurs when the skin and tissues freeze due to extreme cold, requiring immediate hospital attention. I don't think you would really get frostbite in the UK unless you were playing in the snow a lot and you didn't warm up your hands. Winter coat. A winter coat is a heavy, insulated outer garment and it is designed to provide warmth during cold weather. You might wear your winter coat with your snow boots or your wellies. Snow boots are specially designed footwear with insulation and they keep your feet warm and dry in snowy conditions. Snow ploughing Snow ploughing is the process of clearing snow from the roads and driveways using what we just mentioned, a snow plough. You will more often or not find these on main roads where they send out gritters. Gritters are a machine that spreads small stones or salt on icy surfaces to improve traction and melt ice. You know when it's going to be cold weather in the UK because the gritters are out spreading grit. Thermal. Thermal clothing or thermal wear is designed to retain body heat and keep you nice and warm in wintry weather. Frosty. Frosty describes a surface covered with frost or having a person, for instance, a chilly, cold demeanour. A person can be frosty. The next one, we have a story called the snow globe. A snow globe is a decorative object containing a miniature winter scene and usually has falling snowflakes, which you can see when you shake it. Now, some people say toboggan or some people say sledge. So a toboggan or a sledge is a long, narrow piece of wood that is used for sliding down snowy hills for fun. Snowdrift. Again, we don't get these too often in England and Wales, but in Scotland, particularly northern Scotland, you might find a snowdrift. And this is a mound of snow formed by wind often creating obstacles on roads and pathways. Candlelight. Candlelight creates a warm and inviting atmosphere during long winter evenings when you might feel like hibernating. Hibernation is a state of inactivity and rest that some animals enter during the winter months Sometimes us humans feel like hibernating too. Woolly. Woolly describes clothing or items made of wool, known for their warmth and comfort. Parker. A parker is a heavy hooded coat designed to withstand harsh winter weather and they are often lined with faux fur, meaning fake fur. Chilly. If you are chilly, you are slightly cold or you have a cool feeling. Often winter days can be described as chilly. Long johns. Long johns are thermal undergarments worn in chilly weather. They provide extra insulation. Slush. 
Slush is a semi-frozen mixture of snow and water. Often when we have snow, it soon becomes slush and is quite dangerous when you're trying to drive. A snow shovel. A snow shovel is a tool used for removing snow from walkways and driveways. Huddle. To huddle is to gather closely together for warmth or comfort. Animals often huddle together. Firewood. Firewood is special wood used as fuel in fireplaces and stoves and it provides warmth. Winter solstice. The winter solstice is the shortest day of the year. It occurs in December and this is when daylight hours are at their minimum. Snow angel. If you are playing in the snow, you might create a snow angel. And this is an impression made by lying on freshly fallen snow and moving your arms and legs to create a winged shape that some people think looks like an angel. In the snow, you might also have a snowball fight. A snowball fight is a playful winter activity where participants throw snowballs at each other for fun. Icy. Icy describes a surface covered in a thin layer of ice and it can be very dangerous and slippy to walk on. Winter Wonderland. Around Christmas time, many cities will have a winter wonderland. And this is a term used to describe a scene or place that appears magical or enchanting. But these days, they are also areas where you might find a fun fair, bars, stalls, and various different activities to celebrate winter. A fireplace or a mantelpiece. So a fireplace mantle is the shelf or structure above a fireplace and it's often decorated with seasonal items. So earlier we mentioned toboggan and sledges. Well now, this is the act of riding a toboggan or a sledge down a snowy hillside. People really enjoy doing this. An ice scraper. An ice scraper is a handheld tool used to remove ice and frost from car windows and windshields. Every car owner needs one of these in the UK. And lastly, thermal socks. Thermal socks are warm, insulating hosiery. Hosiery is used to describe socks and tights and are designed to keep your feet comfortable and warm during winter conditions. Another must in the UK. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English stories video and we hope you've learnt some new winter vocabulary in English. Thank you for stopping by and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Get productive and check out our language learning productivity packs on Etsy. Use code YouTube10 for 10% off. See you soon!